what we saw from Man U is not new. We've seen it throughout the duration of, especially this season. We, we've seen this. This is not new. How do you let Coventry back from 3-0 lead? You're not playing Barcelona. You're not playing Arsenal. You're not playing Chelsea. You're not playing Man City. Man U were leading 3-0 against Coventry City. Co- Coventry City. Co- in, the, in, in the championship. I think there are seven or eight in the championship. Coventry City. And you implode. You allow them back into the game 3-3. This is not, see, this is not, me, this is not me being just an... <laughs> how do I put it nicely? How, how do you... How do you know just my my are rubbish? My United are rubbish. They have the highest wage bill. That team they spent over a billion pounds on, and they look so disjointed. They 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 well, have a few injuries. It's about injuries. There is something fundament, fundamentally wrong with that team. It can, I'm not saying Ten Hag doesn't have his faults, but let's be factual. See, let's stop this scapegoat culture. We like to find a scapegoat. I'm not saying Ten Hag doesn't have his fault, but those players. Are absolute garbage. Those money players are embarrassing. Those players are not fit to be wearing the money jersey. Those players don't give a hoot. Those players don't have integrity. Those play like, well, is, is this the first time we are saying the same thing? How many times do we keep on repeating the same thing about these players? They don't really care. There is no zest. Like Coventry City. FA Cup semi-final. They can't hold on to the ball. Casemiro look dead on the feet. Bro, no Hollywood passing here and there. Can't be consistent. It's like, man, you only thrive when they are the other dogs. I've noticed that. When man, you is the main team, they're the, like the headliner. They do not thrive. They only thrive when they are the other dogs or when they are playing at home under the influence of adrenaline. But when you give them the ball, control this game. Show us something. Show what, what you're about. They struggle. This man, your team has no guts, has no pride, no integrity, no zest. There's not. See, we can't say that Ten Hag might not be the best manager in the world, but you, you cannot blame Ten Hag on this one. You are not blaming Ten Hag on what happened today. From three goal lead, the Ten Hag said them to bottle it, even though they eventually won via penalties. I'm sure most sensible man you fans are not so happy with the performance. Because now there's a chance, I'm not saying they will do it. There's a chance they can actually, you know, do a smash and grab against City. There's just a chance, but logically, City should be licking their lips and City should be winning the FA Cup. Though there's still a glimmer of hope, there's still a chance things can happen. This is football, things could happen. But based on logic, there is no chance they win this FA Cup against City because they're going to play City in the final. I was hearing flex the other time. Oh, two, two, a, a potential of two cups in two in two seasons that gives them that gives Ten Hag a bit of a breather. That make, does that make it un, unsuccessful? Are you insane? This is the problem with people like Flex using that analogy. You can say that winning cups sometimes can be masking the decay in the club. Winning some cups can mask the, the decay in the club. The the true uh, barometer for measuring the progress. Of your club is through the league. You might not like it, but you can measure the success and improvement and the progress is through the league. Cops, come on, you can get luck of the run in the cops, you can get a fluky goal, but the league playing 38 games, that is how you measure progress and success. Not just winning two flimsy cops two years, then you want to use that. I, I was at some point when Flex made that commentary. Because sometimes I, I don't know the audacity how some of these content creators just say certain things without thinking it through because they have a huge following. Yeah, having a huge following doesn't mean you're sensible. That's why you have to think through things you say. When you're shouting Ten Hag, Ten Hag is this. I understand that Ten Hag has made some bad decisions. I understand Ten Hag talent ID is not the best. But these players are absolute ass. These players are not good enough. They can't handle the pressure. The players, they just don't have it. Casemiro, I remember when I was telling a friend of mine who was a man, you found out Casemiro's sign was just a pension signing, and he argued with me. But now he has come to the realization that Casemiro signing, the Veron signing, were just stupid signings. You don't sign players who are on the decline. 
and, and hide and mask it as experience. No, 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 no. Casemiro's experience, he has, paid, he has given all his good juices to Madrid. It's on a decline. I'm going to go and buy him and hide and you're masking it as experience. Yo, oh, three Champions League. He didn't win those Champions League for you. He won it for Madrid. Oh, Champions League, Mar Varane. He didn't win those Champions League for you. He won it for Madrid. So sometimes the way these fans just throw out narratives as if it will stick. Yeah, oh, that's in the dark. Maybe something will stick. Yes, to the lame, unintelligent fan. And to be fair, almost 80% of the fans are stupid. I, I don't take pride in saying this, but that's just a fact. Because they don't think things through. They look for popular narrative. They are looking for something that can make them laugh. I'm not saying you shouldn't laugh. Uh, you shouldn't be entertained. But logic, objectivity, entertainment, it should be... Or, or, or how, how do you gauge it? Do you, are, are you down for tasteless entertainment? Or you want entertainment with a balance of logic and objectivity and sensible conversations? What, what, what do you want? Depends on what you want. Because just like these days, people are down for any kind of tasteless entertainment rather than logic. People are down for tasteless banter rather than logic. So I'm not surprised that Mayu crumbled, even though they still manage to save themselves and get into the sneak into the final. They scraped into the final against uh, Manchester City in the FA Cup, but the performance is awful. A lot of Manchester United fans will be rightfully uh, disappointed. But we've seen this performance a lot of time this season. So this is not a shocker. I was just surprised that to a Coventry City, Danae Evon, part of the teams that will be coming up to the Premier League, the way Man U gave up a three-goal lead and struggled in that game is, uh, is a new low. That is a new low for me. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section regarding this Man performance. Do you think I'm overly reacting? Do you think I'm being overly critical because I'm an Arsenal fan? Let, let me know because I don't think I'm being overly critical as an Arsenal fan. I love football even though I'm an Arsenal fan. But come on, I can still be very objective and sensible when it comes to these things. I, I have seen enough nonsense on Man this season. And it seems like they're not improving. And it's always easy to scapegoat Ten Hag solely for the demise, for the plunging of Man which I don't agree to. I don't think Ten Hag is solely their problem. I think there's... a uh, a, a, a depth of player quality, man, you are struggling with. They have over inflated ego like Rashford, Bruno. Those players need to be sold or paid off. They will not take money to anywhere. Rashford is not going to get into any top uh, top clubs uh, starting eleven. He's just overrated English player that plays for Man U. The better, the earlier, the better for Man U fans to realize that he will score uh cracking goals here and there he will show flashes of world class moments here and there but consistently he's just a bank average player um uh, my fans have to wake up to that and realize that for now he is not going to turn to that uh, uh pseudo world class players you have in your mind he is not going to do that sorry he's not a player yeah yeah better so they have they have to overhaul the squad unfortunately those players are not just good enough let me know what you think in the comment section uh about uh this match and how Maya has been performing this season uh be kind enough to strike the like button and subscribe if you are new here. I appreciate that. Uh, let me know what you think. I, I like to know. I'll read some of the comments. I like to know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Like and subscribe. Turn on, turn on your notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>